and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Gabriela Benavides. Thank you for joining us. Our top stories tonight. A special report from our school. One of our classmates had an accident in the playground. Then, Fashir meets Zion. And an interview with some special guests who will talk about international exchange. They're going to share some expressions with us that we can show off in public. Tonight, special, our fantastic reporter will be at Capham University for a challenge. All this and more in our news broadcast. Hi there, I'm Justin Case from Capham University campus. And today we are playing a quick game called How, How Do You Know About Savannah Snake? Are you ready to test your Savannah Snake knowledge? I guess, if that's all the questions now. Yes, I really love animals. Please, choose an image. Oh, one. In this picture, I can see a eukaryotic cell. That means that it has no nucleus. A group of cells can make tissues. Actually, Savonella snake is made up of eukaryotic cells. That means that they are multicellular animals. And now, choose an image. Two. In this picture, I can see a brain of the Savonella snake. The brain is made up of tissues and is an organ of the uh, nervous system. Actually, our savannah snake has a tiny brain. And finally, the last image. Mm, this is a beautiful picture. In this picture, I can identify the digestive system of the savannah snake. This system is made up of stomach and liver. Also, the savannah snake has an enormous stomach. Alejandro, for the winner. This is your prize, a mix to put the snake, of course, raging right. And remember, not all snakes are scary, some are just misunderstood. Thank you. For the Lorelei, thank you. On this occasion, I will introduce Drew to our celebrities. There are seals of these entertainment productions. And today, cities have some questions for you about Savannah Snake's mom. And this speech is going to address your presentation. And I have a special guest. It's Savannah Snake. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Hi, my name is Elementa Rubel. Hello, my name is Miss Hayor Chikamocha. Hi there, how are you today? My name is the Thomas Crow. Now, this is the first question. Ms. Alaman is present in a scientific presentation about sound air snakes that the first biological layer in a living beast because the sound air snake is soft on particles. These particles are the most important structure in the universe. What do you think about this? Oh, yes, I agree with her. The first level are subatomic particles. I do agree with that. Subatomic particles are the smaller part of matter, and all atoms in the universe have protons, neutrons, and electrons. I completely concur with this idea. This topic is my favorite, and the information about molecular and atomic levels. Now, our second question. Ms. Leach asks, who will you explain to you what the body system of a Sarnia snake are? For me, body system is made up of organs, for example, a stomach and intestine. Body organ systems in a savannah snake represent a group of different organs, for instance, digestive, circulatory, and respiratory systems. To illustrate, savannah snake has a lot of systems, like respiratory, nervous, circulatory, digestive systems. They're all made up of some organs, like the stomach, the intestine, the large intestine, the heart, and the lungs. Our last question. Mr. Cochrane wants to show you her last work of art. It's inspired by the Sarnera snake, and he needs your appreciation. Very good, Mr. Crocodile. I love the texture of this piece. I think that it is a really great job, Mr. Crocodile. Great job, Mr. Crocodile. This is truly inspiring. Sarnera snakes must be very grateful to you. Could you share your opinion, Miss Finch? Of course. I want to congratulate you on your answers, but Mr. Criollo has an incredible way for expressing himself. Amazing, Mr. Criollo. Thank you very much, Mrs. Peach. I feel pleased and happy for all the presentations that you have for my species. I hope all of you are interested in investigating our behavior. 
our world. Hello everyone! Today we have two special guests. Fashion designer Maria Fernanda and scientist Ana Maria. We will talk about snack bags and how they can help the planet. Anna, what is circular energy? Vicky, circular energy means we don't throw things away. We can use them again and again. For example, a snack bag can become from something new instead of garbage. Matt, how can this be part of fashion? Easy! Snack bags are shiny fabric. I can use them to make bags, puzzle cases, and other event dresses. Fashion can be fun and good for the air. Did you know that at the fan school they made an eco-friendly project with snack bags? And we have two of its creators with us. Hello, Luciana and Maria. Welcome to our fashion and science intern. Can you tell us about your project? We make this project to stop people from throwing trash on the ground. <coughs> what do you do? Set up snack bags into fashion. We get gas and dry the bags. Then we cut into pieces and go our suit. And we also make with the other materials to a, a, to a strong and comfort. What are the good things about using snack bags? We less trash, we have nature and the planet. And the colors are so bright that it makes fashion to look cool and different. Last question. What message can you give to kids? We find care of our planet that makes fashion can be fit and crafted. The green is is really high. Thanks for being with us today. And don't forget, the planet is our most important railway. This is Oriana Sanchez, feeling for the steam compass. You are watching live pictures in our school. Camera action! Good morning and welcome to Steam Compass. I am Oriana Beltran. Today we have some very special report from our school. One of our classmates had an accident in the playground. We will talk about what happens and how bones, muscles and joints work together and how can we take care of them, uh, stay with us and learn science in real life situations. Thank you, Rana. I'm so Bernal. In our report, you will meet the people who helped in the accident, the friends, the doctor, and the science teacher. We will also learn new words like bone, muscle, fracture, joint, cast, and cast. Now let's go live to our report. Maria Luisa Galvez, who is at the scene. Camera action! Hello, this is Maria Luisa Galvez reporting for Steam Compass. I am here in the playground where the accident happened just one hour ago. Our classmate Jeremy fell from the swing wheel plane. He hurt his arm and called no move it. Two friends stayed with him. A teacher called the ambulance and the paramedics come quickly. Right now, Jeremy is in the hospital and the doctor will explain the injury. First, let's talk to two classmates who say what happened. I am Daniela Silva. I saw Jeremy. He lasted at his arm say it hurts. I tell to Juan Diego to hit the teacher fast. I'm Juan Diego Rodriguez. The I ran to find the teacher. The teacher came and called an ambulance. Jeremy looked scared and was in pain. Hello, my name is Jeremy Garza. My arm hurts a lot. The doctor says I have a fracture. I need a cast and I must rest. Hello, I'm Dr. Emiliano Arajas. Jeremy has a fracture in his arm. A fracture means that a bone is broken. Bones are hard and strong, but they can break if the force is too big. Muscles move the bones and joints connect the bones so they can move. When a bone is broken, the muscles and joints around it can also be hard. We put a cast to protect the bone while it heals. Jeremy must rest. Use the cast for about four weeks and avoid sports until the doctor says that it is safe. Bones can heal well, but it takes time, care and patience. 
Hello, I am Juan Pablo Mora, science teacher. In our body, the skeleton gives us shape and support us. We have more than 200 bones, so protects the, some protect organs, like the skull protects the brain, and the ribs protect the head and lungs. Muscles are the soft tissues that pull on the bones so we can move. Joints are special places where two bones meet, like the knee or the elbow, that let us bend and twist. If a bone breaks, it is important to protect it rest. Eat healthy food with calcium to help it heal. To prevent injuries, always play carefully. Warm up before sports and, and follow safety rules in the playground. Thank you, Mara Lisa, and thanks to everyone for the information. We hope that Jeremy feels better soon. Yes, and remember, take care of your bones, muscles, and joints. Play safe and be kind of the others. This has been System Compass. See you next time. We will come back tomorrow with more news around the world. Until then, have a good night. See you soon.